Hi and welcome again to Spikey, the MATLAB-based graphical user interface for monitoring spike train synchrony. In this movie, we will illustrate how to create spike trains with the spike train generator. When Spikey is already running and the main Spikey window is open, the first step is to press the spike train generator button. Next, we edit the fundamental parameters, such as number of spike trains, beginning and end of the time window, and the sampling interval. For our example, we just confirm the standard parameters. Now we can use predefined spike patterns such as periodic or Poisson spiking. In this case, the spike train patterns have been added, but it's also possible to replace them as shown here for splay state spikes. At any time, we can start over by pressing reset. Now we show you one more example of a spike train pattern, uniform noise. But this time we only add it for a certain time interval and for specific spike trains. It's also possible to add spikes manually. Of course you can delete them again either one at a time or a group of spikes at once. The spike train generator allows all kinds of modification. For example, it's possible to drag and drop spikes or to copy and paste. Finally, we show you how to edit spikes, spikes by hand. To do so, press edit. It's now possible to change the order of spike trains or empty specific spike trains. You can also pick a spike train, for example the third, and edit specific spikes. Here we move one spike. Once we have edited the spike times, we lock them in by pressing OK. After accepting the spike trains by pressing Done, we could now start to work with them. However, the different ways to analyze your spike trains with the eyesight and the spike distance will be introduced in another movie. So that's it for now. Cheers!